Jong Eun has been overtaking the K-drama world and stealing the hearts of many women. Actually, he has already been part of the entertainment world for quite a long time. He made his first appearance as a music video model in AOA Black's Moya in 2013. After having played in the hit drama While You Were Sleeping, he gained a lot of popularity worldwide and his momentum continues with his role in Pretty Nuna Who Buys Me Food. His next project is Snowdrop with Jizu Blackpink which will be released this year. It really doesn't take much to fall in love with him, especially with his cute smile and boy next door charm. If you're falling for Jong Eun and don't know much about him, here are 10 things that might help you get to know him a bit more. He's the great-grandson of a famous Joe Son thinker. His great-grandfather's name is Jong Yag Yong, and he was a highly influential thinker during the Joe Son period. He wrote books on philosophy, science, and government theories. He has a younger brother. Jong said that he's really close with his younger brother, who's seven years younger than him. Although he's much younger, they are very open with each other and are comfortable enough to share their problems. When Jong's little brother was asked to say a few words about his big brother, he expressed, beyond as a family member, Jong Eun is amazing as a person. I got a lot of influence from my big brother. He taught me how I should live life and how to treat other people. I think the way he acts is so cool. He worked at a clothing store. He may be one of the most successful actors in the Korean entertainment industry today, but he had to work a lot of part-time jobs before he got his footing as an actor. He revealed that he worked at a clothing store to make ends meet. He said that the worst part about his job was organizing the clothes after people who were looking for sizes. In an interview, he said, I worked at a clothing store once. You know when you pick your sizes? It's very difficult to organize the clothes back afterward. I used to have a hard time finding sizes for people in the beginning. How he became an actor. Jong appeared in Happy Together 4, where he revealed the background story of how he became an actor. He revealed that it was by fate that an agency scout spotted him outside of an ice cream store and gave him his business card. That sprouted his interest in acting and he absolutely fell in love once he gave it a try. He had originally planned to apply to a university to study biotechnology but ultimately decided to study acting. He got into a program and was determined to work harder considering his late entry into the field. Although he was set on acting, his parents were against the idea in the beginning. However, after coming to see him at a play, they embraced his career choice and praised him by saying, you were amazing today, you can keep going. He was the top search for neighbor in several times. This is quite the big honor in Korea as it is very difficult to make it as being the most searched for topic online. It just proves his rising popularity. His name came in first once while he was in the drama while you were sleeping. Another time was the day after Pretty Nuna Who Buys Me Food aired the first two episodes, which was also his birthday on April 1st. Awards. He is such a great South Korean actor. Throughout the years, he has already won 16 awards. The first award he has taken was the New Star Award at 24th SBS Drama Awards in 2016. While his recent ones were Best New Actor which he bagged at 56th Grand Bell Awards in 2020 for his role in movie Tune In For Love. Once he got sick but acted like nothing happened for his fans. On March 2019, he held a fan meeting called First Love in celebration of his birthday. Two fan meetings were scheduled on the day with one being held at 1.30 p.m. and the second at 6 p.m. After the performances of the fan meeting, he also held a high-touch session to meet each of his fans in person. It was during this session that he confessed to a reporter that he was not in his best condition and had to visit the emergency room. He said, actually, my condition is really bad, so I went to the emergency room. I got a severe cold, so I went to the emergency room before beginning the first fan meeting, but my throat is very swollen, and I'm still ill. After the first meeting, before beginning the second meeting, I got another shot too. In fact, because there was no host for his first love fan meeting, he was required to lead the performance for two straight hours. Even so, he did not show his fans any sign of his sickness, so those who attended had no way of knowing he had gone to the emergency room. In the end, he showed what true professionalism looks like by successfully completing both fan meetings on his own. Fans were surprised and touched after hearing that he had actually been sick on that day. He's already gone to the military. We don't have to dread the day when our favorite actor enlists into the army or go through the heartbreak of waiting for him to return. Jong has already served his mandatory military duties when he was in college, which means that he won't have to take two years hiatus in the midst of his career peak. 
On Variety Show Happy Together 4, he said, I went when I was 21 years old. At the time, all of my school friends enlisted, so I enlisted together. That was it. I didn't like being away from my friends. His ideal type. While many celebrities are revealing their ideal types in terms of typical appearances and personalities, there's one actor who is gaining attention for how detailed and unique his ideal type is. Jong is currently so busy that he would have absolutely no time to date. But when he was asked about his ideal type, he said, my ideal type is not someone who hides her feelings and says she's okay. I want her to tell me if she hates something or if she likes something and express her true feelings with courage. Travel alone is on his bucket list. He has been active in the entertainment world since his 20s. In an interview with Cosmopolitan Korea's 20th anniversary issue, he looked back at when he was 20 and said, I regret not trying out more things. They say you learn a lot when you travel alone, but I wasn't able to do so because I was too scared. Traveling alone is definitely something that is still on my bucket list.